Hello everybody, my name is Hocus Pocus and welcome to today's tutorial video. This one's going to be beginning a little bit differently. We are in the Let's Play world right now, but that's just because I want to give you a visualization of what we are going to be teaching you how to build today, and that is the redstone closet. So essentially, this is just a concise redstone storage system. You hover onto the pressure plates, that retracts the blocks on either side, and then you have access to all of this storage, which is labeled on the front here. So we use this to store our redstone components in the Let's Play world, and that just allows us to have it all in one area. And then, of course, when we have a redstone build that we want to go ahead and construct, we can come here and grab everything we need in order to get it done. So without further ado, you guys, let's hop over into a creative world and show you how you can build something like this for yourself in your own world. Okay, guys, so for the first step of this tutorial, we will look at how you can build the redstone that allows you to retract each of the pistons at once. So there are five layers to this segment of the build. So I'll quickly go over them one by one. So the first one is redstone, redstone block. Then you need a gap, a block, and another piece of redstone like so. Okay, so for the second step, or the second layer of this redstone, you need gap, gap, torch. So torch on top of the block here. And then you'll need a block, redstone, and a slab. So block, redstone on top of the block, and then you need a slab on the top half of this block. So you probably wanna do something like that. And this is what you should have at the moment. Onto the third layer, you need gap, gap, block. So gap, gap, and then a block above the torch. And then after the block, you need a repeater, another block, and a piece of redstone. So repeater on the block here, another block, oops, like this, and then a piece of redstone on the slab there. Okay, for the fourth and penultimate layer, you again need two gaps, so gap, gap, then you need redstone block, so redstone on top of the block, and then a block just after the redstone, like so, and then after the block, you need a repeater and another block, so repeater facing that way, and then another block coming behind the repeater like so. And this is what you should have at this point. And for the very final layer, you need gap, 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 redstone, block, and then finally redstone. And this is exactly what you should have once you've completed that. So now that we have that done, let's grab ourselves some pistons. So let's grab five pistons. Oh, not pistons, piston. And these need to be sticky, of course, so that they can attach themselves to blocks. And you just wanna place them like this in a row, or a column I should say, and you will see immediately that they all extend, which is exactly what you want. So now that we've done this, we need to recreate this on the other side, so give me just a second to do that and I will be right back. At this point, you should have a total of 10 pistons and something looking like this, so you need five extended pistons on the left as well as five extended pistons on the right. And I simply just mirrored the redstone onto the other side, leaving a one, two, three, four, five, six block gap like so. So now that we've done that, and that hopefully that you've done that, we should install the controls for this thing. So in line with the pistons here, come back two blocks and dig them out like so. And then you just wanna pop a bit of redstone down there. And then you wanna take this all the way back to where this redstone extends out to. So like this, and then create a little stairway for it to come up. So just connect that into the center like so, and bring it all the way to the front connecting it up here, and then you can pop down your blocks again, put your pressure plates in, and standing on them should retract the pistons. So now that that works, and that we've guaranteed that it works, I would go ahead and just patch everything back in like so, just to make sure that you got space to place down your chests and all that good stuff. So there we go. Now that we've done that, let's get the chests in place and also the design work. So in terms of chests, you're going to need a total of 20. So you need five double chests on the left-hand side here, just behind where the blocks in front of the pistons will go. And then you need another 10 or another five double chests on the right-hand side here. Again, behind where the blocks that are going to be retracted by the pistons will go. And then once you have the chest in place, it's pretty much over to you guys. So you need to decide how you're gonna design this, what design work you wanna put in, all that good stuff. But you could do something like this. Um, obviously this is a very simple design, but I will show you sort of where you can take this. So if you put in some blocks there and then place some item frames on the front of these blocks here, and then maybe you want to get some wood, I don't know, some spruce logs to cover up the pistons on the sides here, just so that you're not seeing the uh, redstone itself, because obviously that's something that not many people will want to see in their bases. And then stepping on the pressure plates will release the chests, which will correspond to the item frames here. So let's say you have wood in this chest, you can pop some wood there. If you have item frames in this chest, you pop your item frame there and all that good stuff. So this doesn't necessarily need to be for redstone storage. You can store pretty much anything and you can extend this as high as you want as well. But I wouldn't recommend going any higher than five because 
I don't think you'll reach the sixth chest very easily, so five is just about optimal for this design. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this build. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like down below. That'd be much appreciated. Any comments, suggestions, questions, any feedback should be directed to the comment section down below and I'll be sure to respond to you. And finally, if you're new around here and haven't subscribed yet, then be sure to hit that red subscribe button to stay tuned to this uh, channel. So we post a lot of other tutorial videos. We've got a Let's Play series running and all that good stuff, as well as a few other games and videos that you might enjoy. So if you did enjoy this one, then of course, stay tuned to the channel for all that good stuff. Anyway, you guys, once again, thank you very much for turning up for today's video. I do really appreciate having you here. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families, enjoy your redstone closet, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.